Hey what's up guys, it is OG Tech here, and in today's video, we are going to be covering how to optimize the Epic Games Launcher. This video will provide you the best settings to use to speed up download speeds and reduce stutters on every game you play on the Epic Games Launcher. These tweaks are suitable for any machine, whether it is high-end, low-end, old, or new. So before we jump into the video, you must make sure you're using the latest graphics card drivers. Mainly this will fix the Epic Launcher crashing, low FPS in games and many more. Also, check if there are any updates for the launcher by clicking on your profile icon and selecting settings. If you see a restart and update button in settings, select it to update the launcher. So let's get into the video. First we are going to disable full screen optimization and make it to run as an administrator. So right click on your Epic Games launcher and click on open file location. Then, again right click on the Epic Games Launcher application, and click on Properties. Then go to the Compatibility tab. Now take these two options, which is disable full screen optimization and run as an administrator, as well as high DPI scaling. After that, click Apply and click OK. So what these tweaks do is, disabling full screen optimization will help you reduce low frame rates in games and running it as an administrator allows its permissions to be set to avoid problems with downloading games. Next, we are going to clear the Epic Games Launcher's web cache. So right click on your Windows icon and then click on Run. Then type percent local app data percent and then click on OK. Then look for the Epic Games Launcher folder and open it and navigate to the save folder. Then you'll see the web cache folder with 4430. So what you need to do is delete this folder from your PC. Also, if you have a folder called Web Cache 4147, delete that as well. For me, I only have 4430 folder, so I'm going to right click on it and click delete. Once you've done that, don't forget to delete that from your recycle bin as well. So deleting the Web Cache can resolve display issues, as well as other issues that may prevent you from using the launcher. Therefore, it is essential to clear the web cache regularly, especially if it hasn't been cleared in a while. And also, you need to restart your PC after deleting Epic Games web cache. Next we are going to reconfigure Epic Games engine file. First of all, download this pack from the link given below in the description, and extract it to the desktop using 7-zip or WinRAR. Then open the file, and then open this text document. Inside of it there are some codes that help you to boost the download process faster. So you need to copy these optimized engine file codes and paste them to the given location. So copy this whole optimized engine file code. Then right click on your Windows icon and click on Run. And type percent app data percent. Then click on OK. And click on App Data in the top. Then navigate to the local. Then find Epic Games Launcher folder. And open it. Then go to Saved. Then config Windows. Now you will see the engine file. So right click on it and click on edit. Now delete all the content you have here. And paste the code that we copied earlier. And go into press Ctrl and V together to paste the code. After that save the file and close it. Then again right click on it and go to properties. Tick the read only box. Click apply and click OK. Now try downloading a game and see if there is any difference. Also, you need to know that this might not work for everyone. In that case, I have mentioned in this document that you can still try it by changing the chunk download value. Try these given values. Also you need to make sure that you restart the Epic Games launcher for each value. So to change the chunk downloads value, go to the engine file location. Before we edit the engine file, we need to untick the read only option in order to edit the engine file. Once you've done that, right click on it and click edit. Now change its chunk download value to these given numbers. And if this still don't work for you or make things worse, just stick with the default engine file. You can find the default engine codes in my text document. Lastly, we are going to take a look at the Epic Games Launcher settings. So click the profile icon in the top right corner and select settings. Then uncheck the options that I'm going to do. Finally, and take the last two options. Once you've done that, restart the Epic Games launcher, and you're good to go. So that's it for today's video guys. These tweaks will help you optimize the Epic Games launcher, but if nothing works, uninstall the launcher and reinstall it again.
and make sure to follow the steps correctly. Also, if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out my other videos for further performance. Drop a like and stay subscribed to the channel. See you guys in the next video.